I'm probably as optimistic now in this grind as I've been for pretty much the entire time, and that comes down to a couple of different things. Number one, we just passed over 5,000 total kills. That means about 800 since the reset, and the biggest reason is, on last week's stream, we had two level 9 red deer in the same stream. They weren't in the same run, but it's been a very long time since we've actually seen that in the grind. It reminds me of the Great One Whitetail we shot. We actually shot two diamonds and then the Great One in that order. Now, one of the nines that we had for the Red Deer was a troll, but it was just nice to see a couple of level nines basically back to back. So I'm feeling good about this grind. Hopefully today's the day and uh, we'll kind of see how we go. Not a bad way to get things kicked off. A nice looking seven, actually two sevens. One that may end up not making gold and one that definitely will. And of course we're armed with the 308 AR-10 once again today. So they are evidently just kind of getting to their zone and normally when that happens, in the case of the first one that we shot there, I try to get my shot off quickly if they are broadside. Often right as animals kind of enter their zone, they will change the direction, maybe it would have changed to face away from us, maybe facing us. The easiest shot, of course, is broadside, so I wanted to get that shot in quickly. By the way, evidently our shot on the second seven was maybe too far off to one side. It's possible we could have started to flee when we shot, but if we can alert him with the 22 environment, we're probably going to be able to still get a vital hit. A little tough, he's got his head dipped down, but hopefully that'll drop right into the chest. No problems at all with the first one. I think that's a bit of an uneven rack. 199 scoring gold. I'm not sure. It might be the same antler that's kind of twisted on one side. They're definitely not exactly even. It's a good looking deer though. And maybe we can kind of get Star 12 to level up a little bit. He's nearly the max level for tracking. So hopefully he can help us out. Or in fact, even better, I guess he was maybe on his way back when he went down. No track needed and yeah, that shot probably was a little too far to the right, and unfortunately, I guess his head was dipped lower than I thought when we got the shot off. Maybe he moved a bit. That was nowhere near getting him in the chest. By the way, he would have been a silver anyway, so not the best scoring level 7, but the good news is we got the gold out of the bigger one. No complaints so far, though. Another max estimate level 7. Hopefully today we start to see some levels above that, but seeing the max weight estimate is always good. So we use our tripod just to help with the hunting pressure. That's been one thing that I've been a little bad at at this particular lake. It's more so the other side, usually they get some more stags. But there's a bit of leftover hunting pressure over there and I don't want to continue to do that. But thus far, two lakes, two gold level sevens in the course of that bronze that we messed up. This guy's a little uneven as well. You can see this much taller tine over here. I wonder how often that happens and I don't notice, but anyway, looking pretty good as far as our trophy size stags go. This area continues to produce pretty good sized stags. Another mythical here. We're at the Y in the river up towards the, the northern part of it. And in this case, we had to go looking a little bit. I think I must have deleted the zone the last time, but as much as that can be a little bit annoying to not find them where you expect them, I generally look at it as a good thing that we're kind of forced to go and check out other area. Now, unfortunately, trying to squeeze that shot in there must have been a little bit in front of the lungs. That shot, I think, is going to be just fine to bring him down. I don't know where that level 5 got to. Unfortunately, he was kind of hidden as well. We can try to get him because we're going to have to run all the way around to go and claim them. I think that's going to be about right, so no worries about a flesh hit. But even if it was, in all likelihood, he would have had to go back to his zone and... By the time we got over there, I likely would have just been down somewhere in the general vicinity. So a bit of a run to get around there, and no more red deer up around that edge, which it would be nice if we could have gotten a bonus tag for the distance we had to run, but at least that does confirm that in the normal runs where I don't go and check this edge, at least I'm not missing anything. I'm kind of curious to know what happened to all the red deer in this area. I forget if it was the stream or maybe that hunt where we shot a diamond down at this lake, but we went from having three different zones that had red deer in them to just the one. We no longer get them over on this side, and we don't get any down at this end. And it's the lake down here in the far southwest. We had the diamond there maybe two weeks ago, and then 
I thought we maybe came back here a few more times, maybe it was on stream. We ended up deleting the zone and they seem to have all just disappeared, so I don't know where they're at. Maybe we should check down in here. I've never seen a red deer there, but it's close enough to reason maybe they moved down there. Or we can just run a little bit and get the question answered for us. They've moved, clearly, uh, to an area that's too close to our tent, so... I think we might actually just shoot them all and actually delete the zone again. Because I don't really like them being there. It's not a bad spot, but it would be better if they were spread out. So, we need to determine what's what. There are four stags. Two that are kind of difficult shots and two that are easier. So if we time this all out correctly, that was kind of an intestine hit, but the only issue we may have had is that one kind of jumped in front of one of the stags that we shot at. I don't know if it was that guy necessarily, but he'll be hit twice. We might have ended up not getting one of them. If we did, I don't know where he went. That one's going to go down. I don't see any other stags running off, so we'll have to go and check. But maybe that'll kind of help us at this lake. In the meantime, R7 just missed gold by point one. And now we'll try to make sense of this. We got two down right here. This one, that's a six. I don't remember what level was what. This is the first one with the shot that dropped. That level seven did make gold. I see the vital blood there. That, I think, means we got all four, unless this was a hind. Now it's a stag, so I'm pretty sure we're good. He's only hit the one time, so I think we're all set. Pretty sure we killed all the stags and therefore the zone. The zone is gone, and you won't see too often, like, intentional deleting of zones, but in that case, I think we're just better off with them being in the positions they were before. Far too often when you get herds that have four stags or zones that have four stags, that's kind of just too many to handle on a lot of runs. And often you'll kind of get one that maybe escapes or something like that, Whereas, if they are spread out to where they're far enough away that maybe shooting two doesn't alert maybe two more, it just tends to work out a whole lot better. So hopefully they're going to spread out across this lake a little bit more. That does mean we probably don't need to check down here at this other spot. And then somewhere over in here should be our fourth one. Oh. Sir 12 hits level 14 as a tracker. That guy we might have been good for as well had he not just started to duck. I don't know if he ducked enough to throw that shot off the lungs, but that would have been a silver anyway. Let's pray Sir 12 so he stops barking. Yeah, we can head on to the next lake. It has certainly been a day of level sevens. We got another nice one here. It's an area that's a little more frustrating to check, mostly due to the length that we have to run. Now, realistically, we could set up a tent, but I just kind of have all the tents set up, the, the max allowed for a map, and I tend to think they're in better areas. But running either all the way straight across here or down and around from there. Regardless, it ends up taking some time, but we gotta check it, because if that's the spot where a great one spawns, we have to know. At least the run to go and claim them doesn't take too long. I think we heart shot both of them. Or no, we not to shot this one to drop in immediately, but even still, 209 gold may be our biggest one thus far. Sad to say, going back to the beginning of the video, it seems today is not the day for our great one, and I guess maybe best to not confuse good luck in the two level nines we had last week with anything to do with a great one, quite honestly. And, you know, I thought it was pretty cool on stream. We ended up shooting that diamond with the 30-30 open sights. Almost messed it up, but ended up getting the diamond from it anyway. And a pretty cool one to add to the trophy lodge. I think diamond number 21 now on this grind, and I'm only just now seeing, there is apparently another zone that I need to start paying attention to. It's down in here in the brush. I think there were two stags, if I'm not mistaken. Still not going to notice a great one or anything, but it's one of those situations where again, kind of exploring and having to move around to go and claim different red deer or anything like that can actually let you find other stuff. So. Nice, we got the one. I could have sworn I seen another dark body in there. Maybe it was just a darker colored hind. And if anything, I guess better to wrap up with a level 6, even if it is a silver, than the level 4 over on the other side, although that still is going to be our final harvest. 
and I think maybe rather than just looking at a level forest egg and wrapping up, maybe we'll go back to the trophy lodge and see the diamond that we shot on that stream. I think it, actually I know it, is the first diamond red deer that we've shot with the 3030. Not that that really shows up in the trophy lodge or anything, but at least we can kind of know that. And actually, I hadn't realized this, but I guess we never came back to the lodge to place it on stream. So we're officially moving into the back half of the hallway now with diamond number 21, this 251.3 small rack stag that we shot with the 3030. And I never would have dreamed that this lodge would have filled up to this point even. I think we were at 37 or something like that. Total red deer in here counting the hinds. And it just continues to grow even when it is a stream kill and not from this particular run. But I wanted to put it in here. I really didn't notice that it wasn't in the lodge. So good to get it in there and not end up having it forgotten about. I hate to miss out on any that we have when we're all done kind of going through this lodge. That is the plan eventually, hopefully when the great one happens to kind of go through and take a look at everything that it took to actually lead up to it. But nice to at least add another diamond in here, take another look at everything that has gone on. And hopefully as we've crossed the 5,000 total kill mark, we are not too far away from achieving that ultimate goal. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.